E and we will be answering from question 8 to question 10. For question 8, uh, given that uh, the 11th theme of arithmetic progression is 43 and that the first theme it is 3, find the common A, common difference B, the fourth theme, right? So we have to start by analyzing this question, right? We have uh, the 11th theme, which is, should be equals to uh, 43, right? Then the first theme, it is denoted by A, which is 3, right? Then we all know that uh, the nth theme for AP, it is a, TN equals A plus open bracket N minus 1, then close bracket D, right? Then we have to substitute. We, we are told that 11th theme, it is equals to 43. So here it will be 43 equals first theme, it is 3 plus open bracket uh, nth theme, it is 11 minus 1. They need difference. They're looking for difference, right? Here we have 43 equals 3 plus open bracket 11 minus 1, which is 10, then D, right? Then here we're going to have 43 equals uh, 3 plus uh, 10 times D, which is uh, 10 D, right? So we are going to take uh, this uh, all terms to the right, left side, in which it will be 3 plus 10 D equals uh, 43, right? Then uh, when you subtract 3 both sides, you are going to have 10 D equals 43 minus 3, right? Then 10 D, it will be equals to 40. Then you divide by 10 by 10, then the common difference, it will be 4. So now for B, we are told this is A. For B, we are told to find the 11, uh, the fourth term. So how do we find the fourth term? So this is B. We are told to find the fourth term. And the formula, it is TN equals A plus open bracket N minus 1, then D difference, which is difference. For A, we have uh, 3. 3 plus, then N, which is the term, which is fourth term, which is 4 minus 1. Then the difference, it is 4, right? Then in which it will be equals 3 plus, uh, here we have 4 minus 1, which is 3, then 4, right? Then TN here, it will be equals to TN, 4 times 3, which is 12. So it will be 3 plus 12, right? TN, it will be equals to uh, 15. So this is the fourth term in this arithmetic progression, right? Then now let's move on to another question for... For number nine, for number nine, for number nine, this is nine. For nine, we are told a plane flying at a speed of, this is a speed, right? Speed, we have 900 knots, right? Then it takes five hours. This is five hours, five hours, which is the time, right? Then it, uh, it takes five hours from town A to town B. Calculate the distance between the two points. So how do we calculate the distance? We have to write the formula that speed it is equals to distance over time. Then here we are, we are looking for this distance here. So we are going to make D the subject of the formula. Then here we cross multiply. Then D it will be equals to S times T, S times T, right? Then D it will be equals S, at uh, the speed it is 900, uh, not then multiply by time time which is five hours then the distance it will be equals to 45 4500 nautical miles so this is a, a distance here for b we are told uh, to find point q on longitudinal 85 so this is the longitude 85 degree east lies on the equator and you see it is due to east. Due, due to east, right? Due to east of P. So, uh, in this question, we have to analyze that all these points lies in the same pose that uh, it is 85 uh, degree east due to east P. So we have to find, and the time, 
due to east of P, the time difference between P and Q is uh, five hours. Then the time we are given that it is five hours, right? Then for us to solve uh, this question, we have to analyze how many degree are in five hours. So we all know that one hour, it is approximately two, it is equals to 15 degree, right? Then what about the five hours we have? It will be X. So here you cross multiply X, it will be uh, five times 15 degree, which is equals to 75, right? So this is 75 degree. Uh, 75 degree east. So if you can see, uh, these points are in the same pole. That means we are going to find uh, the uh, difference. Difference, difference, it will be equals to, uh, because uh, in the same pole, so we have, we have to subtract 85, 85, 85 degree minus 75 degree. So this one, it will be equals to 10 degree east. So this is our answer for question 9b, right? Then now let's move on to another, another, another question here for question 10. This is question 10. Question 10, the probability of a girl not wearing a necktie is, so we have to write this probability of a girl not wearing a tie, not wearing Wearing a tie, a tie it is 0 0.55, right? Then uh, what is the probability that the same girl will wear the necktie? So the probability of uh, wearing, wearing a tie plus uh, the probability of, uh, the probability of uh, not wearing, wearing a tie, it is equals to one. Because the probability uh, we have only one chance of selecting, so that means it will be equals to one, right? Then the probability of wearing a tie, we don't know, so it will be X here plus, then the probability of not wearing, we are told that it is 0 0.5, right? Then it will be equals to one. Then you subtract 0 0.55 both sides in which we are going to have 1 minus 0 0.55. 1 minus 0 0.55, it is uh, 0.55. This one, 0 0.5, we can write it as, as x equals 1 minus uh, 55 over 100, right? 100 because of two digits. So we are going to look uh, into the common denominator, which is 100. One into 100, which is 100 times one, which is 100 minus 100 into 100, which is uh, one, one times five, 55, which is 55. And this one, it will be equals to X equals 100 minus 55, which is the uh, 45, right? 45 over, Hundred. If you want to take uh, this one into decimal, it will be x equals uh, zero point four five, right? So this is our answer of that girl not wearing, not wearing a tie. So for question ten b, ten b we have uh, this exponential equation, which is eight power x minus one equals to sixteen, and this uh, equation have different bases, so we have to make uh, the base to be equal. So it will be eight, we reduce it to two power three. We all know that two to the power three, it is eight, x minus one, then which is equals to 16, it is two power, two power, two power four, right? Then we are going to say this one, if you have a power r in the bracket, power a in this one should be equals to a r n right so we have to take uh, this the same term to be equals to so it will be uh, 3 x uh, minus 3 right then which is equals to because the bases are same 
So let's take it as 2 here, 2 power 4. So here the bases are same, so we are going to have 3x minus 3 equals 4, right? Then 3x, uh, when you subtract, when you add uh, 3 both sides, you are going to have uh, 4 plus 3, which is 3x equals 7. You divide by 3, you divide by 3, x it will be equals to 7 over 3, in which x it will be equals to x, we all know that t. Uh, 3 into 7, it is uh, 2 remainder 1 out of 3. So this is the answer for x because we are told to find the value of x. So this is where we end for 2020 paper 1 GCE uh, from question 8 to question 10. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new update. Thank you.